All right, guys, so uh, today I'm going to be installing some airbags. Um, it was crash damage uh, Peugeot partner van. So, got some new airbags to install. Never installed airbags before, so let's uh, hope everything goes well. Disconnected the battery. Um, left it like 10 minutes just to make sure everything's sweet. And then there's a little pin there, and a pin there. Cable connects to one, this one connects to the other. And you should be able to just push it back in. Um, the removal of uh, the airbag, in case you don't know, there's a little, little thing there, you just shove a screwdriver in and push about and you should be able to clip it out. And that should come out for you. Um, this is the back side in case you're curious what it looks like. Yep. So, uh, let's try and install this. Alright, so, I've connected the red wire, you just push that in. And then this yellow one, you just push that in and then clip the yellow clip on. That's them to install. Line that up. There we go. That's that in. Just literally push against it, and there you go, good to go. That's the steering wheel done. Now, uh, moving on to the passenger airbag. So, got two cables again. Uh, that one's a little nut, then you just screw on. Then just the same with that one, you just clip that on. Um, doesn't have a nut on it. Does. Yeah, yeah, my old one's got one on. Just take this off. See, that's why sometimes best to keep your old stuff until uh, until your new stuff arrives, just in case you need anything. Right, I've got this uh, bit of plastic installed. You literally just push it back on. Um, to remove it, you just pull on it. That's basically all I did. Get some trim tools in. Just pull out on it. Just get it in. You just push it all back in. Um, with the airbag removal... It's clamped in with four screws. So you don't screw all them. And then for installation, you just want to attach uh, those cables back up, push it in, screw it all in. All right, so all I've done is took all the screws out, push this into place, not all the way. Just enough. And then if you come underneath, you can see there's four screws need screwing in. And then there's the connectors you can put in. So I'll just screw that in first. And then do the connectors. Basically I'll just show you. Uh, by the way, that T, that T30 torque, so just in case you're curious, them four screws. I haven't uh, screwed them all the way in, just so there's a bit of wiggle room, just so it's uh, in situ. And now, move on to these. So, I'll try to get this one on first. see just on that little copper bit of copper there right 
and a little nut. What's that? It's like a six or eight or something. Just screwing that in by hand for a sec. Okay, so that little uh, bolt, eight mil. So I'll just uh, get that attached, get that screwed on. <clears throat> okay, so got that bolted in. Now, do you want to get this one put in? Um, so we need to take that yellow off, I'm not sure. And I think that's, yeah, that looks like a push fit, so. All right, there's a little fiddly, um, but I've got it in. Clicked into place. Just want to push this back in. There we go. And then get back under here and screw all them in. And I'm good to go. Right, so I've uh, screwed them all in, plugged it all up. So that a bit sorted, that a bit sorted. Now, just connect the battery back up and hope they don't uh, go off. So uh, let's connect this back up. So that's sorted. I'll put this back again in a minute. Okay, well nothing's went off. That's a key. Still got the airbag light, so. All right guys, so um, I've just took apart these seats. Basically, this was connected over here with two bolts at the front and two at the back. Um, and that bit there was connected as well. And there was a bolt there, bolt over here, and then there was two bolts over here. So I disconnected all that, took that out to get to this, the airbag module. Uh, so I can disconnect this, send it off and get reset. Uh, just make sure you disconnected your battery before messing with it. And then just take off these two clips unbolt it and um, take it out, send it to the company to get it um, reset and then put it back in and uh, hopefully we're good to go, get rid of them uh, airbag lights. So do a follow up when um, when I get that back um, from being reset and see how we go. All right guys, so it's, uh, it's been about four days. Um, we've got the ECU back a bag ECU, um, that's been reset, so the car doesn't think that the, uh, uh, the van doesn't think that it's been in an accident anymore, but we still got one airbag light on, uh, it's a different cord though, the other two cords have been cleared, this one is because these pre-tensioners have went, so obviously that still works, but it won't pull it back anymore, and um, if they have a bit uh, has another crash or anything. So I've just took apart the the panel, everything in here. You just pu you just pull it off. Because uh, some of these will probably snap. A couple of mine have, so I'm gonna need to uh, get some more of them. But basically, there's just a bolt there and a bolt there. Uh, it clips into there. Just this little thing. You just pull it up. These yellow bit. Just pull it up, it just clips into there. Then we can tack this out. Do the same on the passenger side. Um, get them replaced. And then hopefully all the lights will be out. So this bolt down here is 16 mil. Just unscrew that. Right, 
Yeah, that's better. Get that one now as well. Should be the same, yeah. Right, so we got uh, with them ones off. Got this top bolt now to take out. It's also a 16 mil. Got that one out as well. Now, when you take this plastic off, just pull it off and get this bit out. There we go. Now you just twist this. And then you should be able to get that bit out. There we go. Just get this. There we go. So that's that out. All right. So I'm just going to do the exact same I did before. I'll just show you taking this clip off. This is just a clip there. Just where's my torch? So yeah, it's just this clip. You just pull up this using two fingers. Hold up like that, and then just lift off, just like that. All right, so just do the same two bolts down there, one bolt behind that, um, and you just twist that, pull off. All right, so these have just been delivered, got both of them in. This one didn't have this little blue clip in, so I had to take it off the other one. Just, uh, if yours doesn't, just be careful putting them back in, they're a bit tricky. Um, yeah, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to attach them up to there and just see if the light goes out before I fully install them, just to make sure everything's working properly. Um, so literally just plug that into there, same with that one over there, and then see if they're working. And if they are, then I'm going to install them. I've decided to do a, put a bolt in it, but uh, what I noticed was it's got a little hook there, so when you put it in, slot it onto that little hook, and then and then you can put that bolt in, then clip this on, put it into there. Alright, I'm just going to show you how to um, fit this again, because it was a little fiddly on the other one. You see there's a hook coming out the bottom as well. So we'll just just like that. You got that little one coming out and that one. It sits in. Then you can just put the bolt right in. And then connect this. Connect this back up. Just push it down and then push the other bit down. So put this out. There we go. It's all in situ. <clears throat> done that side done that side now we get to uh, see if our lights go out yes there we go Up here, then. Nothing. All right. There we go. Now the light's gone. I'll plug uh, the OBD in again, but I'll get these bolted up. With uh, happy days. There we go. 
Alright, I'll just uh, show you how to do this clip because it's a bit tricky. So, put that top bit in first, pull it down, and locate the bottom bit. Like that, and just move it along. There you go, that's all in. And push that back over. Right, when that's all uh, pushed back up against the wall, just put this bit up there, screw it on. There we go. Now we've just got to screw this back to the bottom bit. Right, so now we're at this stage, all the bottom is screwed on. Um, top screwed on just got this little bit left so when you want to get your bit of plastic and put that back on make sure all your clips are spot on or you got your new ones or whatever installed and just pop that back on and then we can screw this in so I'll just quickly do that all right so I've uh, got this plastic back in and now uh, just need to put this bolt back in down here like that, washer there, um, extender thing on the other side. There you go, that's that all tightened up. Yeah, that's that seatbelt in. Oh, well, should put this on. Um, There we go. I'm gonna do the same for this side. Uh, I'm not gonna film it though, because you, you see me do it there, so pretty straightforward. Just obviously the same, same as that side. Right guys, there it is. That's working. That's working. No light on the dash. No problems up here. You go to menu. Uh, it's gonna do that flashy thing. There you go. Um, options, diagnose. Doors open. Diagnose, okay. Complete. There you go, no problems. So uh, that's how you um, fix your airbag problem. Hope uh, this video helped and uh, got any questions just leave them in the comments. Alright, thanks for watching.